Hi everyone, Ati Myra here and for today's video, how to get a birth certificate online gamit yung ating phone and at the same time, how to pay using GCash. So guys, if you don't know, yung PSA po is formerly known as National Statistics Office or NSO and right now kasi guys, most of the, for example, mag-apply po kayo ng passport online or mag-apply po kayo ng passport required po nila ng and um ng PSA authenticated the birth certificate like this okay or some other companies guys pag nakapasa na kayo kailangan nila ng birth certificate at some of them nagre-require po sila ng PSA din so it's so important na alam niyo po kung paano mag-order online ng birth certificate if you have the luxury of time guys kasi this is recommended po pag um, hindi nyo po urgent kailangan yung birth certificate. Kasi kung urgent naman guys, then you can go directly sa inyong PSA office para makapag request at para makakuha ng birth certificate. But if not, then you can use this to order online. Okay, so I hope you're interested and if you are, please keep on watching. Okay, so guys, for this video, magre-request po tayo ng birth certificate. But you can also request cinemar, marriage certificate, at saka death certificate. Okay, so punta lang tayo sa m.nsohelpline.ph. Pag nakarating ka na, scroll down ka lang, makikita mo itong tatlong to. Of course, ang steps are, first, order now. Pangalawa, pay online. Third is, check status. So first, mag-order now muna tayo. Select lang natin yan. After that, piliin mo yung certificate na gusto mong i-avail. For this video, birth certificate po, yung ilalagay natin. And then after that, tatanong sa inyo kung ano yung purpose ng inyong certificate. So, ayan, ang daming reasons guys, ang daming purposes, pero isa lang yung pipiliin natin. And as you can see, ito yung pinili ko, yung nasa baba, others. Then after that, Tatanong sa inyo, ano yung purpose of your application? So, dito nilagay ko lang, I want my own copy. And then, next. After that, ilalagay mo na dito yung inyong maiden name kung ikaw ay married. Kung hindi naman, then just as usual. Next, lagay mo dito if you're a female or a male, illegitimate ka ba or legitimate, and of course, your birthday. Next. So, if pinanganak ka sa Pilipinas, then tap yes and then here you have to provide your father's name information as well as your mother's maiden name information first name middle name and last name then tap next who will receive the birth certificate upon delivery if it's you then select mo lang ito owner of certificate but if not you then pili ka na lang sa baba kung sino po yung gusto niyong mag accept or mag-receive po ng inyong birth certificate. Next, what is your contact information? This is so important, guys. So, please make sure na tama po yung inyong information na ilalagay. Next, where should the certificate be delivered? Of course, ilalagay mo sa address kung saan mo siya gustong i-deliver, kung sa bahay niya ba, or to other address. Then, you have to check kung how many copies do you need. Guys, kung nakapagkuha na kayo ng PSA or ng birth certificate niyo sa PSA office mismo, let me know in the comment section kung magkano. Kasi dito sa amin, guys, it is 150 per page. Okay? So, here, I want two copies. So, here, asa na yun? Okay. I want two copies. Then, after that, ito na yung summary, guys. In this part, pwede pa kayo makapag-edit. Pwede pa kayo makapag-back kung merong information na mali dito. So, make sure na tama lahat ng information nang sa ganon, walang magiging problem. If you're okay with that one, then dito na yung contact information. 
Uh huh. Dapat tama po. And next one will be the delivery address. So if you have a home or house number or building name, then please put everything here. Nang sa ganon mas madali po. And then if hindi ka available during the delivery, pwede po tayo makapag-authorize ng person or ng representatives para makapag-receive po ng documents for you. And as you can see here, may tatlo po kayong um, ibibigay just in case lang naman. So, first representative, second representative, third representative. And it's also very important, guys, na magpaprint po kayo ng LOA or ng letter of authorization kung hindi po ikaw yung tatanggap po ng certificate. Okay? If one of your representatives po yung tatanggap, then please make sure to secure po a copy of the printed of the LOA, the letter of authorization. After that, nandito na tayo sa checkout summary, guys. Two copies. At, guys, yung amount po is 365 per page, per copy. Okay? So, imagine, guys, ang laki po talaga ng difference. Tell me in the comment section below kung how much po yung difference. From 150, pagpupunta ka talaga ng NSO or ng PSA office, to online um online application kung online mo siyang ginawa 365 per copy po sobrang mahal more than 100% po yung dumoble pa ng bongga yung total okay so dahil dalawang copies yung ni-request natin guys that's a total of 730 pesos then dito sa baba click mo lang yung i certify that all information I've provided is true and correct then, nandito na tayo sa option kung saan magbabayad na tayo, guys. Tapos na tayo mag-provide na information. Now, it's time for us to pay. And dami ding options for us to pay, guys. Pwede yung Visa MasterCard. Pwede din GCash. Pwede din over-the-counter payments. Like PNB, Metro Bank, BDO, Bayad Center, 7-Eleven, Banknet. Pero for this video, guys, ginawa ko siya using GCash. So, later, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano yan, guys. Very simple, very easy, at um, sobrang dali lang. Next one, ayan, dito, guys, ito yung reference number. And as you can see sa baba, order is not yet paid kasi magbabayad pa lang tayo through GCash. Okay? And by the way, ito po yung print. Um, letter of authorization, if in case hindi po ikaw yung makaka-receive, dapat meron po kayong ipakita ang ganto sa delivery man or sa courier. Alright. Now, pag natapos na po kayo magbayad using GCash, this is what you're going to see. Dapat makita nyo po itong page na to saying payment success. Okay? And, ito lang guys, upon delivery guys, you have to, kung ikaw po yung re-receive or ikaw po yung tatanggap ng no certificate na in mo or in request mo, you have to present your valid ID na original and you also have to submit photocopy po ng inyong valid ID. Okay? Don't forget that. Now, ayan guys, pagtapos na, makikita mo po dito, transaction is already paid via GCash. So, ngayon, papakita ko sa inyo, guys, kung paano magbayad through GCash. Okay? Okay, so guys, very quick, papakita ko sa inyo kung paano magbayad through GCash. Okay? So, ito na siya, GCash. Input your mobile number, guys. 639, blah, blah, blah. Ilagay lang natin yan correctly. And, um, after that, wait lang tayo a bit. Medyo nahirapan ako kasi phone nga siya, guys. At ganito po yung itsura niya. Yung sobrang laki po. Ayan. 639. Enter ko lang po yung phone number. Then, after that, you have to put your MPIN. I mean, yung, yung authentication code po pala natin. Next, kanina. Lagay lang natin siya. Chin-check ko lang siya, guys. Nahirapan ako kasi naka-landscape po yung phone ko. Kasi, hindi ko alam bakit. Sobrang laki po talaga ng mga texts. Ayan. Then, after that, submit mo lang yung code. 
and the four digit M pin po ng inyong GCash. And then payment, confirm payment of 730 pesos. Confirm and pay mo lang yan. But of course, make sure that you have enough money sa inyong GCash account. Then, ayun na, that's it. Enough na siya guys, tapos na siya. And then, malalaman mo naman kapag successful na po yung inyong pagbayad because you will see this guys. Because makikita niyo po ito guys, GCash payment success. Thank you for your payment. Pag once nakita niyo na po ito, um, pretty sure successful na po yung inyong naging transaction. Okay, so good luck guys. I hope that you can you can try it if you want. But, you know, if wala ka namang enough time, then I think punta ka na lang talaga sa PSA hotline. I mean, PSA office near you. Okay? But anyway, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And see ya! Watch till the end!